What's up everyone? Welcome to your 45 minute legs and glutes workout. We're gonna get you started and get you right into this workout. Four minute work periods, two exercises each, 10 reps per exercise, as many rounds as you can in that four minutes. We're gonna start off with a little bit of quad heavy work and then we're gonna close it out with some glute work. Grab a bench, grab something to pop your heels up on for heel lifted squats, and also grab your glute bands if you have them and your water and your sweat towel as always and let's crush this workout. Grab onto your toe and pull. Let's get you warmed up so we can rock out with this glutes and legs workout. AMRAP style, and I think you're gonna love the way that we break this one down. Okay, 10 reps of everything today. We have some single leg moves down in the lower part of the workout, but I'm not gonna give you four minutes straight of your left leg working. I'm gonna switch it off. You'll have a single leg and then a double leg exercise. Next round, we'll switch that leg. Okay, nice wide stance. So you have plenty of rest in between single leg moves. Good, bent leg, straight leg. We've got three minutes here to warm up so that when we do get started, you're already rocking into getting good working sets. It's important that you're not using the first minute or two of each set to warm up. So we'll get nice and warm here and then we'll get started in just about two minutes. Good job, pull your heels in a little closer. Let's sit, reach forward. And then as you reach for the ground, lift your hips up. Good, again, drop your hips. Exhale, lift your hips. Two more, sit. Good job, last one. Sit, open your chest up. Exhale, lift your hips to the sky. Good job, we'll go plank position here. Exhale. Step up with your left leg. Opening up the hips here just a bit. And switch. Great job, now let's turn that up just a little bit more. Tap the back knee open and switch. Back knee open. Last switch here. Good job, hands down, both feet are back. Lift the hips up to the sky. Pedal your heels down to the floor. Calf stretch. Good, walk it back to your toes. Heels down on the ground, roll it up nice and slow. Cross your arms. Are you holding your weights today? So let's open up the upper body. Over, over. Good job. In just about 15 seconds, we start off regular deadlift and a lateral lunge with a back rack. Okay, dumbbells are done by your side. Sit here for 10. Then take one of those dumbbells, throw it on your back. 10 here, okay? Let's go, two, one. As soon as we start, make sure you're not letting your back round. Core is engaged with your breath. Good job. When you throw that weight on your back, stand nice and wide. 10, 10, 9, 9. Good job, and as you go into round two, or if you're already there, if that first round was too light, you know you gotta go up. Come on, pure strength workout today. So I wanna see you pushing your weights here. Thank you. 
Back is strong and turned on. Good job, good job. And two minutes left, let's go. You're in minute three now. Good. In between our four minute work periods, you'll have one minute to rest. So let's go hard here for another minute and 40 seconds. Good job, one, 15 to go. As you sit, trust your strength, okay? Don't get down there and think, oh, this is hard. 45 seconds, you got it. Perfect, come on, 30. So you see how in that four minutes you kind of caught your pace, started getting into your own weights. Think of that as your workout today. All right, potentially two different weights here for your next two exercises. Forward lunges, you've got five each leg. So you step it out, one, two, five each leg. Then you drop those weights because they'll probably be two. Bring one of them up, goblet squat. If you wanna flip that to a bow tie hold where you're holding the edges of your dumbbell, that's okay. You can also do front rack squat if you have a barbell, okay? Forward lunges, step out, heel toe. We go in five, ready? Four minutes on the clock, two, one, rock it out. Don't let yourself collapse over your front leg. Stay strong so that your leg can push. Minute done. Let's go. Minute two.
Keep the dumbbell close. Good job. Minute three, let's go. Also, make sure you're not looking down at your toe, okay? Step forward, sit behind your heel. Good job, you're feeling it in your quads right now, right? Keep going. Come on, less than a minute, you can do this. Last 30 seconds. seconds. Great work. Grab water, walk around. Very quad heavy here in the first half of the workout. Very proud of you. We go into step ups and heel elevated squats, okay? So two different kind of areas. 30 seconds and we'll go. I'm gonna go heel elevated squats down here. So it can be body weight or it can be weighted beside your body, at your chest or on your back. 10 here. 10 step ups total, five each leg. Meaning you can go a little heavier, okay? We go in 10. Alternate as well. So go up left, right, left, right, left, right for a total of 10. Big deep breath, come on. Got a little transition time in this circuit for this AMRAP. Okay, so take that to your advantage. Go heel elevated, get nice and low. One minute down, here we go, minute two. Good job. Keep your hips going up. Don't let them shoot back like this. And then bail yourself with leg number two. Hips and heel stay over each other.
Two minutes down, two to go. All right, come on. We're in minute three out of four. All right, let's go. 60 seconds, come on. Go for it, 13. Four. Breathe for 60. Whew, that one went back kind of fast and also kind of slow at the same time. Good work, lots of transition in that one, right? From left leg to right leg and then into a different spot, so. Let's bang out this last quad heavy circuit and then we'll move into posterior chain work, okay? You gotta squat hold for exercise one. With that, you can either do squat hold pulses or you can do squat hold abductions, okay? Meaning, you can throw a band on to go 10, nine, eight, or 10, nine, eight, your choice. Then we go Superman with a band on. You can do this on the floor. You can also put your hips at the very edge of your bench, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, or a stability ball if you have something to hold onto in front of you. Okay, so let's go. 10 squat pulses and we're off. Good job. When you do your hypers, hips push to the floor. If you're on the ground, legs are obviously gonna stay straight and you're just gonna lift from there, okay? job. Good reps, I don't want this to be cardio-esque. Yes, you're breathing heavy because you're working hard, but focus on range of motion.
Good job. And if you're doing that squat with a little abduction, you are gonna target your glutes a little bit more. That's why I'm kind of sticking to the quad focus of just a pulse, because then you're obviously going a little bit of glute work here. So if you can, muster it up to sit in those pulses so that your hypers can be just as effective. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Last 60 of this one, and then we're going bridges. Okay, we're going all glutes pretty much for the rest of the workout. Now, keep in mind, pretty hard to just isolate one or the other. So in some way, we'll be using both of them. But the movement patterns in the squat with the chest up, a little bit more quad dominant. The hip extension, that we'll do in our glute bridges, a little more glute dominant. Okay, so think about it that way. 30 seconds, give me all you've got, come on. Good job, you got 10. Two more, three, two, one. Beautiful work. You're in your 60 second rest period. And we're going glute bridges. If you wanna put your shoulders on the bench, that'll take it into a hip thrust. You'll have a deeper range of motion in your glutes, bigger stretch, more activation. If you wanna go on the ground or you have to go on the ground, give me that good loaded weight with a glute band on your legs if you have one. After that, split squat, left leg in front only. All 10 reps are on the left leg, then you go back to glute bridges, okay? We'll get to the right leg eventually, but not right now. 30 seconds. And if you're using a bench, I suggest putting a sweat towel down. All right, 13. There's a little bit of transition work in this one. You're fine, okay? You got that. Six. Let's bridge first. And here we go. Good job, set it up again, go again. <sighs> 90 seconds down, you're doing great. Also, if you don't have a bench, you can just do regular split squats in which your leg is just out front here, okay? Don't have to use the bench, it doesn't have to be Bulgarian. You're already over halfway home.
33. Whoop. Come on, finish strong here. I know this is one leg of work. Might feel a little heavy on that side. We'll switch in the next one. Stay strong, 30. Don't forget to breathe. Ten, nine. Two, one, and breathe. Walk it out, come on. You're doing great. Now, next circuit, a right leg and a left leg move, okay? So we'll finish off the right leg split squats, and then we'll add left leg RDL, okay? So you just did split squats on your left leg. Now, next circuit, split squats, right leg, and then Romanian deadlift, left leg, okay? 10 split squats, 10 RDLs. Have a couple weight options around. If you want a little deeper into your RDLs, throw that heel back so you can get a good stretch here, okay? All right, 10 and 10, you ready? Two, let's go. I'm gonna start knocking off my split squats personally. You can start with whichever one you want. First minute, done. Come on, keep rocking. Whatever arm you're holding that weight in, make sure, especially on the other side back, everything is pulled back. Okay, don't let your back round forward or your shoulders more specifically. Two minutes down, you're in minute three already. You're breathing deep, your body is strong, and you're just taking one rep at a time. We want them all to be great reps. There's no rush. I think that's sometimes the part that we struggle with. We think effectiveness is fast. Effectiveness here today, Good reps. Sit low. Use challenging weights. Power it up. Long term, that's going to be the most effective for you. Here we go, 60 seconds left in this one. And you can probably guess the single leg move that will be in the next circuit, but we'll also have a two leg move. Thank you. 
20 seconds. Come on. Last rep, two, breathe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've covered left leg RDL with our glute bridges. We did right leg RDL with this one. We did split squats. Now we have that other leg split squat. All right, so, sorry, we have the other leg RDL. So. RDL with your right leg, okay? 10 of these, and then you have the option of hamstring curls with the ball. If that's too tough for you right now, I've also seen people instead grip their dumbbell. We did this a while ago, but just to show you options. Take your dumbbell on the arch of your shoes and kind of make a little platform, okay? This can also be your weighted hamstring curl. I'm gonna do this today with you. I might switch back and forth with the ball as well just to show you options, but 10 of these, 10 right Romanian deadlifts. Let's go. seconds down. Good job. Job. Stay focused. Keep it up, come on. Focus on this one. Push through any burn that you're feeling here. One minute, come on.
Come on, you got 10. Four, two, one, and breathe. We have one more four minute circuit. Come on up. A minute rest and then we have a nice long cool down. I know you've been working hard today. We're gonna get you out of here right on time. But first, a little band work to burn it out, okay? You've worked hard, hip extension, worked hard in flexion. We're gonna go banded squat walks, okay? So you step and sit, one, two. I want the focus to be on that outward knee drive. Then fire hydrants, okay? An advanced option is elbows on the bench, knees are floating, okay? If you do that, do not let your belly button reach for the floor. Exhale, go here. If you need to drop it down here, also fine, okay? Knees can be on the ground just like normal, but if you want a little extra spice, there you go. I'm gonna use my medium band and we go in two, one, And this is 10 total, okay? So five each leg for both of them. One minute down. Good job. Here we go, last two minutes. Come on, I need him to be good. You need him to be good. Come on, I'm with you. I'm pushing hard, I know you're doing the same. 1.15 to go. When you're doing your fire hydrants, really grip your hands into the ground, okay? Let's go. Come on, last 45 seconds of our whole workout today. Then we've got a nice, long, beautiful cool down. Come on, work for it. I'm gonna give you an extra challenge at the end, not physical, but your work outside of here. The work's not done when the workout's done.
12. Come on, drive your knees out, seven. Go, 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 four, three, one more rep, two, one, and breathe. Come on down, hands and knees. You have made it to your cool down. We've got a nice long, longest cool down we've done in a while because important message, the work is not done when you're done here, okay? My extra challenge for you is to support these workouts with how you live, so take care of your goals. Okay, come on up, lift your hips, and then drop them down to the ground. Really think about that. Take care of your goals. They're your goals for a reason. The beautiful part about it is that every single bit of progress is all yours. Everything that you do benefits you and the goal that you set for yourself. Take care of your goals. Okay. Tuck your toes down and lift your hips up into the sky. If you have a band on, just shimmy it down till it's on the floor or just on one leg. Drive your heels down to the floor. This cool down is important mentally and physically. Take care of yourself. Take care of your goal. Okay, cross your left leg over your right and then walk back closer to your feet. I talk about the fact pretty often that everything that you do is gonna benefit you and then you can benefit others, but it has to start here. You have to do the work, no one's gonna do it for you. You benefit from the work. And then if you want, you can benefit other people by the way that you show up, the things that you do for others, the way you prioritize certain things. Walk back out for me and then switch legs. Walk it back to your toes again. Really working on stretching the posterior part of your leg right now. And when I say take care of your goals, it's not me releasing responsibility onto you and saying, oh, the workout's only a small part, you do all the work. It's being honest and transparent with you, with myself, doing a little self audit. <sighs> okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Roll it up nice and slow. And when I talk about these things, I'm relating to you. I'm not preaching at you, I'm talking with you. I'm holding you accountable, but I'm also working with you. Okay, I'm not asking you to do anything that I'm not asking myself to do. We prioritize happy, healthy, and strong. And we know when we've been kind of letting up a little bit, right? Whether it's that time of month, it's that time where you're just stressed, you're tired, you have deadlines, whatever it might be. You've got a lot on your plate. Whatever it is, you can unintentionally kind of step off the gas. This program is called Drive because I want you to keep driving, okay? When you fall off a little bit, when your intensity lessens a little bit. Let's switch back again. Unintentionally, we can kind of just relax a little bit. So this is me checking in on you saying, hey, it's okay, it happens to us, but as long as we don't let this go too long, we're fine, okay? You can pop right back into it, whatever the reason is that you may have let up a little bit. And also, if you haven't let up, you've been rocking hard, post that places, right? Talk to people about it, post in your accountability groups, the Sydney Squad, on your socials. People need to see other people working hard. It truly is such a magical flex. And it's not cocky, it's not superior to anyone. You showing you living a healthy life is in no way negative. If someone sees that, they're gonna be inspired by you. The right people will be like, you know what? He or she can do it, so can I. All right? There's someone out there that just needs to see someone else working hard and that's all they need to start their journey. So everything that you do that benefits yourself is truly a ripple effect. You take care of your workouts, you take care of your nutrition. You show that, you share that, you talk about that, maybe subtly, but just do your thing, right? Live your life. People need to see that. They need to feel like they're in good company with other people working hard, and I know you do as well. I know some days you just feel like this is so lonely, this is so long, this journey is the long game, which is the beautiful and the tough part about it. But if we can recognize that we're all in this together, there are ebbs and flows constantly, but when we get back on it, as soon as we recognize that we're slipping a little bit, we have people that are doing this with us, I think that's our true superpower, this connection, the workouts that we do together, the lifestyle that we're living together. So. Take care of your goals. That's my homework for you. And before we come back and work out again, continue to take care of your goal, all right? 
I love you. I'm so proud of you. And I will see you back here for the next one. Make sure you comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to help us keep growing this worldwide community and help more people live a happy, healthy, and strong life. I'll see you soon.